What I want to demonstrate in this video is something known as Privileged Identity Management or PIM that is part of Azure AD P2. Now the idea with PIM is it allows you to escalate a user to a predetermined role. So this means that you no longer need to have users with standing admin privileges. They can be escalated on demand and go through an approval process. So what I want to do is just take you through the very basics of that. So what we've got here uh, is a workstation. So we have a workstation with a user, ordinary user logged into it. So if we go in here and try and go to the Microsoft 365 environment, You'll see thanks to the single sign-on because it's an Azure AD join machine that works and that user can gain access to all of that information. Now if they want to do something uh, that requires admin privileges, in this case going to Defender for Cloud Apps, so if we click on that link you'll see that they can't do that uh, because they aren't of the right role. So they haven't got the appropriate role, an admin role, to uh, basically go in and achieve that. So we can enable them to do this on demand with approval using PIM. So you'll find PIM in the Azure portal. So we go into the Azure portal. If you do a search for privileged identity management, there it is there, and it will bring up a console that looks like this. So what we need to do here is we need to go down to assignments. And what we want to do is we want to create an assignment for this user. So we go in and add an assignment. We are going to select a role here. In this case, we'll just keep it simple and make them a global administrator. And then what we'll do here is we will select um, the members of that. So who is this going to apply to? In this case, it's only going to apply to a single user. All right, so there's our user there, director at ciaopslabs.com. So I'll select that, oops, select that user. Okay, and go next. So now I get to choose whether that assignment is eligible or whether I want to actually make it uh, active here. So I can make it active immediately and control of that so the user doesn't have to go through basically their own activation. But in this case, I'm just going to make them eligible and show you what the experience is like if they make the request to activate. You'll notice that I can assign this capability to activate on demand permanently or I can do it between um, certain times and dates. So I'm going to select assign. So you'll see in a sec once that assigns that role, we'll see that listed here in a sec. And you'll see that uh, if we want to, we can then view any active assignments and any that expire. So we, as an administrator, we can create these eligible assignments, manage them and view them. Now, the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the option for settings. So this is going to give us some more granular control over these individual settings. So I've set up the global administrator as I showed you. And now what we're going to do, go, do is go in and set some of the options here. So again, we're just going to go and edit these. Now we can vary the maximum amount of time that this assignment is allowed for. So it's set there to four. So let's make that just two hours. You'll see that on activation, we can require them to go through uh, MFA credentials. They also can be required to justify the reason for the activation. We can integrate it with ticketing information and we can also set it for uh, approvals. So what I've done here already is I've set up uh, a member here. So the super user uh, has to approve uh, basically any of the requests uh, that are made by users for uh, to use PIM. So we go next for assignments. All right, you'll see here that I can allow it to be eligible, allow permanent uh, activation assignment if I want active assignment, and again, require MFA on active assignment and justification, All right? So this is uh, when it's being assigned. So let me go to notifications here, and you'll see that all the default users are notified. Uh, you can uncheck them if you want. You can also add additional users if you, if you want. So I'm gonna select to update this. All right, so with that all in place, what I've got now is the capability for this user here called out to be able to go in and request activation to being a global administrator. When they do that, that request will go through to the super user who then has to approve that request and only after that will um, they be escalated to that level. So to see what the process is, again, the easiest way to do it is to go in to the actual user. 
and let's go to the endpoint manager that's probably the easiest way they could uh, go through privilege identity management inside the Azure portal but I find it's easy to go into endpoint.microsoft.com uh, on the side here the menu option you'll notice is tenant admin select that in here you'll find Azure AD privileged identity management let's select that all right so in here you'll see that you've got the options which look very similar to the admin uh, area that we saw but select my roles all right and you'll see here that the eligible assignments for this user are the ability to be escalated to a global admin okay and I can go in here and simply click the option to activate that now when I do select this activation here you'll see that there's our maximum time that we're allowing uh, when we set this up so let's change that to one and uh, put in a justification for that so let's go in and activate that all right so that'll take a moment or two to activate and that request uh, will then be sent through to uh, any of uh, the approvers for them to acknowledge that and accept or deny that so if we now go over to the super user, so we're back in here as the super user looking at their email, what we will see shortly is an email from the environment here. So here it is here that's just arrived. So it's going to let us know that uh, Robert Crane, who is the director account, has requested to be activated to a global administrator role. We've got all their details here, which we can uh, go in and review if we want. So what we're going to do here is just select the link to approve or deny that request so let's uh, select that all right so you'll see that here is the request down here global administrator is the role uh, this is the requester uh, the time the resource uh, and so on you'll see here if you had the integration with the ticketing system start time end time all right so all i need to do to approve this is select that and in this case go in and select approve so i'm going to put in justification here as noted when I change the settings. So I'm going to go in and confirm that. All right, so that has now been uh, updated. That request has been approved. Let's go back over to our individual user now that that um, activation has been approved. All right, so you'll see here if we go in and uh, refresh this, so let's see if it updates for us automatically. Uh, what we will see shortly is that this has now been activated since it has been uh, approved all right so it has been uh, activated here ready to go now if we wanted to as the user we could deactivate this manually rather than waiting for the time to expire um, I can't select that at the moment because it requires at least uh, a five minute window after activation before you can uh, deactivate it once you go through the approval process so again we could manually deactivate it rather than waiting for it to time out if we so chose. But you can see now that I should be a global administrator, which means that if I go back in to this Defender for Cloud Apps and refresh this, so let's re oops, let's re uh, go to the correct link. All right, so the original portal, rather than just refreshing the error. You'll see here that I can now get access. I can go in and I can look at, you know, any of uh, the alerts here. All right, and I can go in and I can, you know, go in and adjust the policies, create policies, uh, making adjustments. So I am a basically a global administrator, allowing me to take care of what I need to do uh, as that user for the period of time. Now you'll see here uh, that is scheduled to uh, expire you know, at 9.41 uh, p.m. Now, if I do try and go deactivate like I showed you, um, this is sort of the experience. I can go in here and deactivate. Uh, you'll probably see that we come up with an error because we haven't spent five minutes with that role as yet. So after five minutes, we'll be able to deactivate and go back to being a normal user. So again, what I've done here is I've used Privileged Identity Management, or PIM for short, what it's allowed me to uh, basically go and do is to uh, go in and set up the ability to uh, escalate um, roles on demand. So what we did basically is we went into the roles, we chose uh, a role and we then assigned that role to a user. Now you can 
choose any of the roles that are available. Global administrator is simply the one that I chose and you can assign that to any individual user or group of user and then you can nominate the period of time and what sort of authentication is required when they uh, go through that approval process. You can also um, configure whether there is an additional approver um, once the end user requests uh, that uh, assignment. So they request the assignment, goes to an approver, and only then are they given access uh, to the portal. So a very handy way to make sure that users uh, don't end up with um, standing privileges that are really above what they need. And the good thing about that is if their account is ever compromised, then uh, they generally won't have those admin privileges because they will be de-escalated or removed after that time period. So a very good uh, way to, again, ensure that there's just-in-time uh, admin roles or there's just-in-time rights to what needs to be done. And that can be accomplished, like I said, through Azure Privilege Identity Management or PIM. Now, remember that you will need Azure AD P2 for every user who wants to take advantage of uh, PIM. So that is a requirement for them to be able to uh, achieve this. Thank you very much for watching this video.